This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. You can also get this template from my web store. Check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo reveal. Here I will set time duration to 8 seconds. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as background. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to solid background. Now here you can set any color of your choice for the background. Set ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter to 500. Now add the reflection media file to the timeline. Now add the lightning media file to the timeline. You can see the preview. For this lightning media file, in effects and preset, search for glow. Add glow to lightning. Now for lightning, set glow threshold to 10%. Set glow intensity to 0.1. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this glow, for second glow, set glow radius to 200. Now again create duplicate of glow. For this glow set glow radius to 600. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to the lightning. For exposure, set exposure to 4.5, set gamma correction to 1.25. Select bypass linear light conversion. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the lightning. For box blur, set blur radius to near about 20. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now adjust the position as shown. Now create duplicate of this lightning. Slightly adjust the position as shown. Now again create duplicate. Position it. For lightning media, change mode to lighten. You can see the complete preview. Now select reflection and lightning media file. Pre-compose it. Name it as reflection. 
Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo, select move all attribute into new composition. Now for reflection composition, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now for reflection, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the reflection composition. For box blur, set blur radius to 3, iteration to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes, add it to the reflection composition. For blob eyes, in blowiness, change blob layer to logo. Set softness to 2. Set cutaway to 5. You can see the preview. Now add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo, change mode to overlay. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, Search for Tritone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here you need to set the color, adjust the color in such a way that you get a perfect golden output. Now select Reflection, Logo and Adjustment Layer, pre-compose it, name it as Glass Logo. Perfect. Now let's add the texture to the timeline. Scale it to fit the screen. Let's pre-compose the texture layer. Name it as Texture. Now change mode to, multiply. Now add the glass logo composition to the timeline. For texture, change track mat to alpha mat logo, perfect. Now select glass and texture composition, pre-compose them, I will name it as metal logo. Now add the floor media file to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Change it to 3D. Press R to bring up rotation, change rotation to near about 280 degrees. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the floor media file. For tile, increase output width and height. Now let's position it. You need to position it as shown. Select mirror edge. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. I will set color to white. Now select rectangle tool and create mask as shown. Now for mask 1, increase the mask feather value. Here you are free to adjust the floor layer according to your logo placement.
perfect. Now select both layers, pre-compose them, name it as floor. Let's hide the composition. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for compound blur, add it to the adjustment layer. For compound blur, select blur layer to floor. Set maximum blur to 70. Select invert blur. For metal logo composition, in effects and preset, search for mirror, add to logo composition. For mirror, set reflection angle to 90. Now adjust the position for logo reflection. You can see the preview. For logo composition, press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, at start, set it to zero. Now at near about 6 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. At end, set it to, zero. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for noise, add it to the adjustment layer. For noise, set amount of noise to 7% For logo, press S to bring up scale, at start, create keyframe for scale, at end of the timer line, set scale to, 110% Perfect, now let's see the complete preview Here our logo reveal is created Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.